The other day, I had this hankering to create some of my own custom icons and found thanks to a website called icoconvert.com that it's actually super easy to do. Uh, the only things you're going to need to do this is, of course, a computer, an internet connection, and if you want parts of your custom icon to be transparent, some kind of image editing software. I have an old copy of Photoshop Elements uh, that I like to use, uh, but uh, let's show you how it's done. This here is a folder with a custom icon I created. Uh, notice how the icon is just the image. Uh, there is no box or anything around it. This is because I've left the background transparent. Uh, if you don't care about having a transparent background for your icon, uh, you can go ahead and skip ahead now to where I show how to upload an image to icoconvert.com uh, as everything else you need to do to create your custom icon can be done there. Okay, let's open up our image editing software. Right now, I have to assume you're familiar with your particular image editing software and can recreate the steps I'm taking here using your software. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is create a new document. Uh, desktop icons are square, so you're going to want to create a square document. The largest size of icons ICO Convert makes are 256 by 256 pixels. So you could just use those dimensions, but personally, I like my working document a little bigger than that, so I make mine 500 by 500 pixels. As for the background of the document, I like my background to be transparent because I don't necessarily want my icons to look square once they're all done. All right, uh, now that we have our new blank canvas, well, we can bring the image we want to use as our icon in. Uh, just for giggles, I'm going to use this picture I created of Kyle from the YouTube channel Bitwit uh, when I made he and Paul from Paul's Hardware some cornhole boards a few years ago. Uh, you can check out that video in the cards or in the video description if you want to. As you can see, my cartoon image of Kyle is quite a bit larger than my 500 by 500 pixel canvas, so I'm going to need to resize him a little bit. Okay, now that we've got our image size to fit in our square document, we need to save the file as a PNG. If you're not familiar with PNG files, uh, they're an image file type that preserves the transparent portions of an image. In Photoshop, the transparent background is represented by this checkerboard pattern you see here. Uh, I'm not sure how other image editing software handles this, uh, but in case you're not familiar with Photoshop, I just wanted to quickly mention this. ICOConvert.com can convert JPEGs and bitmaps as well, but JPEGs and bitmaps fill in the transparent areas with a white background, uh, which is fine in some instances, but for what I'm doing here, I, I don't want that. So now that we have our image created for our custom icon, all that's left is to convert it to an ICO and apply it to our file or folder. Let's go ahead and open up our web browser and navigate to icoconvert.com. Uh, we now need to upload our image we just created. So let's click on choose file here and then navigate to our image, uh, select it and click open. Uh, back on the ICO convert page, we can now click on upload. Once the image has uploaded to ICO convert, we need to select which portion of that image we want to use as our icon. Uh, this is really helpful for images that aren't already squares. To make your selection, you just left click on your image and drag a little bit, and then use the grips to select the portion of your image you want to make into an icon. In step three here, we can change the shape of the icon if we want. Uh, this is really helpful for images that haven't been edited up front, uh, like I did in this tutorial. For example, let's say you uploaded a photo directly without editing it at all. You can then use ICO Convert to crop the portion of the image you want as your icon and then choose to make your icon square, heart-shaped, or circular. Since I uploaded a PNG, I don't need to worry about this at all, so I just select the square here and then move on to step four. 
In the final step here, we choose the format for our icon. Uh, so far, I've just done the custom sizes and then selected all the sizes. My thinking behind this is uh, hopefully it will make my icon look good no matter what resolution of monitor I'm using. With all our custom selections now made, all that's left is to click Convert ICO and then download your icon. Typically at this point, I will move my custom icons to another folder on my computer, uh, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to leave it here in downloads. Uh, but let's get on to applying this to a folder, shall we? Uh, to change the icon on a file folder, you simply right click on that folder, select properties, then the customize tab, and then change icon. Here we'll click browse and then navigate to wherever we have our custom icon saved. Uh, select our custom icon and then click open, then OK, then apply, and finally OK one last time and we are done. This method really only works for customizing folder and shortcut icons. Uh, but what if you're wanting a custom icon for specific file types? For example, let's say you want all your JPEG files to be Van Gogh's Starry Night. There is a way to do this, but from the research I've done, it requires you to do some registry hacking, uh, which I don't really feel like doing. Thankfully, there is a company called Nearsoft that has created a freeware app called File Types Manager, which you can download and it makes customizing your icons by file type pretty simple to do. I've linked their site in the video description if you'd like to give it a try. The download link is way down at the bottom of the page here. If you have the 32-bit version of Windows, you'll want this first download link and if you have a 64-bit version, you'll want this second one here. My copy of Windows is 64-bit, so I want this one here for x64. Once you've downloaded File Type Manager, you'll want to navigate to your download folder, right-click on the File Type Man zipped folder here, and extract the files. There's no installation required to run File Types Manager, so all you need to do is double-click on File Types Man, and it'll start up. Once it's running, you'll have a list of all the different file types on your computer. Uh, for this example, I'm going to change the JPEG extension, so let's scroll down to JPEG. We will then select it and right click on it and select Edit Selected File Type. Next to the default icon field, we have a button with three little dots. Click that, then OK, and now we just need to navigate to our custom icon. So click Browse, navigate to wherever you have your custom icon saved, select it, click Open, and then OK again, and we're done. Now when we're in List View, all my JPEG icons are Van Gogh's Starry Night, rather than the boring default image icon. So that's it for this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. Uh, if you'd like to help me make more videos like this one, please check out my Amazon store at the link in the video description where you can purchase the cool products I feature in some of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again in another video. Later.